Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Bhargavi Patel. Currently I am pursuing my third year residency of radio diagnosis in Maharishi Markandeshwar University, Mulana. I am going to be presenting a case of cutaneous sweat gland carcinoma of suprapubic region. Cutaneous sweat gland carcinoma is is an uh, extremely rare malignant skin cancer that may arise from the apocrine or eccrine types of sweat glands. It has a high mitotic index and malignant potential and usually occurs in elderly people without any gender predilection. It can arise in any part of the body which has a sweat gland. However, lower extremities are the usual sites of origin which comprises approximately 50% of these tumors. Most common tumor sites being the legs and feet. The most common presentation is in the form of a papule or nodule, but this may also uh, ulcerative growth. Sweat gland tumors are mainly of a two types, apocrine and eccrine neoplasm. As per the type of a sweat gland is originates, that have been categorized as a benign, low-grade malignant and high-grade malignant tumors. The low-grade malignant neoplasm rarely metastasis but may involve the regional lymph nodes and have a laser-associated mortality. On the contrary, the high-grade tumors frequently metastasis to the distant viscera, liver, lungs and bones being the most common site and have a higher disease mortality. Malignant sweat gland tumors are surgically extinct and may recur uh, uh, in some patients. The learning objectives of this study to considering the rarity of this tumor aim is to familiarize the general physician with the role of CT scan imaging in sweat gland carcinoma and second role of imaging in the extension and grading of the disease. In this case study, we assess the imaging, clinical and pathological data of 55-year-old male patient with swelling over the suprapubic region for the last three months. On examination, there was an ulcerated lesion noted over the skin, which was a firm inconsistency. Contrast CT of pelvis was done by using 128 slice machine. After operation, histopathological examination of specimen was done. Then we come to discussion. It was clinically diagnosed as a neoplastic mass possibly arising from skin, skin appendages. CCT demonstrated ill-defined irregular, uh, irregular shaped soft tissue density mass lesion with the internal calcification in the supra pubic region which was showing heterogeneous push contrast enhancement. Bilateral inguinal lymph nodes were bulky and so similar pattern of enhancement and calcification representing metastasis. Patient underwent complete surgical resection. Specimen from suprapubic mass and bilateral lymph nodes were sent for a histopathological evaluation. We saw malignant tumors uh, cells of sweat gland origin arranged in a cribriform pattern with lumina. Patient has started on chemotherapy. Now we can see images. Axial uh, plane image of unenhanced CT scan shows large ill-defined soft tissue density mass lesion with internal calcification in the suprapubic region with showing heterogeneous enhancement on post contrast image and second image shows coronal and axial plane from the contrast CT showing bilateral bulky metastatic lymph nodes and figure 2 shows a 40x and 10x resolution from the specimen of the resected mass and bilateral inguinal lymph nodes showing tumor cells in cribriform plate lumina. Lumina contains eosinophilic conclusion. Then we come to conclusion. Cutaneous sweat gland carcinoma is a highly uncommon skin cancer with a high metastatic potential. CT scan is the commonly employed imaging modality to assess the disease burden and its extension. It is the imaging modality of choice 
used for the mapping and staging of the disease. Thank you, everyone.